Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Akio and today I'm going to be doing my review for Avengers Endgame guys. Yes, no spoilers. You're safe with me guys. Was here, I did the same. Even though I talked about Black Order. The Black Order. Which wasn't really spoiled, but whatever. But anyway guys, without further ado guys, let's just jump into it. Also towards the end of video, or should I say at the end of video, I have to talk about what my plans are for the next couple of days and my video schedule and other type of stuff guys. So yeah, as there were a bunch of movies that missed doing my trip over in the United States when I was overseas in the United States but anyway guys that's towards the end of the video so now we'll just talk about Avengers Endgame so just to jump right to it for my pre-rating score I'm gonna say that Avengers Endgame guys it's a great film it really is this movie is absolutely fantastic it was a perfect ending for the first three phases of the MC even though Far From Home is apparently now considered as a phase 3 movie which is actually great because they can start phase 4 with Eternals or Black Widow or whatever but or even maybe something else surprising like Shang-Chi I don't know but I think phase 4 is going to be very different because these first 3 phases are called Infinity Saga maybe phase 4, 5, 6 will be called like the Mutant Saga or the Fantastic Saga or the Cosmic Saga, I don't know, but I have a feeling that Phase 4 onwards is going to be very different, but also very exciting because now with the X-Men and Fantastic Four, it's going to be great. But anyway, nevertheless, going back to this review, Endgame was great, it was amazing, it was just a blast, so yeah, that's all I have to say for that. Alright, now let's just talk about the story for the film. So the story without spoiling anything is about these remaining uh, Avengers, the six of them, they get back together, fine, which is very cool to see them all. And also the other characters, Rocket, Nebula, Koye. Um, spoilers for Captain Marvel, we haven't seen it yet, but Captain Marvel does in fact meet the Avengers in this movie. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really uh, pretty cool. I really liked how the movie kind of felt like Dark Knight Rises, if you know what I mean. It's a very slow paced movie, we'll get more to that in the positive and negative, but I really liked how they did it. It was very Dark Knight Rise, Rises to me. It felt very like Dark Knight, a bit like Dark Knight Rises to me and not necessarily like Deathly Hallows Part 1 and I mean Part 2 because that movie was just, that was like Infinity War. Kept going, going, going. This movie was wow. Not a roller coaster ride. It was a roller coaster ride but kind of felt like, I know, like a very slow, like a very long roller coaster ride. It, I should say, but nevertheless, great story. The ending of this movie was amazing. Everything in this movie was just done very well. The whole story was done well. No spoils whatsoever. Even though that uh, that is one thing I want to say about the movie, but still no. There is a time jump though, I would say, in this movie. But I think everyone kind of saw that. There is a time jump. I won't say how long the time jump is because that it would be a spoiler for this movie. But then again, there is a time jump. So don't freak out about that, but that because that's not really a spoiler. But telling you how long the jump is, that's a spoiler. Don't look at Wiki or anything because that would give it all give it all away. So yeah. But anyway, that's really the story without spoiling thing. Them trying to figure out how to undo the snap, the decimation, and uh, yeah, that's really it. All right, so let's talk about the positives of this movie. The main three positives. First up, the acting. Rarely is that MCU movie why I always. Well, I talk about the acting. I was talking about the acting, but this time I'm talking about the acting in particular because the acting in this movie is fantastic. All the six main Avengers are so good. Every actor in this movie is amazing. There are some actors that are just okay, but there are some actors that are really good. But then again, it's it's Avengers Endgame. It's the one that everyone wants to see. Everyone has to be in the A game for, and they were. Everyone was on the A game in this movie, so that's great. All right. Next up, the next positive was the build up. Like I said before, it felt like Dark Knight Rises, like how it built things up. This movie, the build up was perfect. I really like how they set things up throughout the whole film. It was done very well. Um, yes, it was done at a perfect pace and all type of stuff. So yeah, the build up was just, the build up was great. And how they set up the final battle was great too. And speaking of which, the third and final po major positive was the final battle. The final battle in this movie, which everyone's talking about, uh, was just absolutely mind-blowing. It's amazing. 
it's everything you want and more in a movie. I wish there were more characters in that final battle, but uh, yeah, but it was just amazing. Hope that didn't spoil uh, the movie. I, I was, I was, I, I feel so scared now, like for saying that, like more characters. But I'll just leave it at that. All right, and finally the negatives. So negatives, there was only one. Yes, guys, there was only one. And it was a, that it was a bit slow. There were parts towards the middle of the film when I was like, okay, we're just speed things up a bit more. And uh, yeah, that was really it. It was just a bit slow, a bit slow place. That's it. So hopefully I didn't spoil the movie that much and anything like that. But um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So Avengers Endgame, a great film. One of the best superhero films I've ever seen in my entire life. It is in fact better than Infinity War. However, it is not my favorite MCU movie though. I still think that Civil War and the first Avengers are still better than this in my opinion. Only just because Civil War was a much more grounded real story. Uh, much more like sim similar to the lines of Winter Soldier but with a bit more characters. And the first Avengers just because it was the one that started it all for me in my opinion. But nevertheless, this is a great film. It is my... Yeah, it is my third favorite MCU movie ever. And uh, yes, I do like it more than Civil War and I mean, not Civil War, than Infinity War. And I do like it more than Age of Ultron, which I, I am mentioning because that was also, that is also one of my top 10 favorite super movies of all time. So yeah, by the way guys, to wrap things up, as a final score, I'm going to give Avengers Endgame a 9 out of 10. It's a great film, highly recommend it. If you're an MCU fan, MCU fan, you would love, you will love this movie, guys. So yeah, all right. Now let's just quickly talk about what I'm going to be doing for the next few days. So today's Saturday. This review will be up late today, tonight, in the evening, whatever. And after that, this next couple of days, Sunday onwards. Well, for Sunday for me, not sure, but for you guys, it might be Saturday, whatever, in the states. But anyway, I will be doing catch up reviews every single day, Sunday all the way up to Friday. So. For you guys in the States, it'll be like Saturday afternoon-ish, kind of, and ending on like Thursday afternoon, I guess. So, tomorrow I'll be doing Shazam. I saw Shazam in the States. Had a blast watching it. We'll talk about that tomorrow, guys. And Monday onwards will be the movies that I I never saw in the US at all. I have to, I, I'll find ways to catch up with them. But Monday will be Hellboy. That will be interesting to check out. Based on all the bad reviews that the film got. Tuesday will be Missing Link. Which should be interesting to check out. But not that bad. I shouldn't be worried about that. Because the reviews have actually been pretty good for the film. Um, Wednesday will be Wonder Park. Which I'm very scared of. Because the film was not good I heard. It was not that good. Um, what, Thursday will be Dumbo. Which I'm also a little bit scared of. Because I heard the film wasn't that good. It was just yeah okay I guess. And Friday will be Arctic, which I'm really looking forward to finally checking out. And the film, I believe, just came on Blu-ray. Like, it's going to come on Blu-ray very soon, uh, these next couple of days. But anyway, guys, that's it. So, I'll say it again. Say it again. Sunday, Shazam. Monday, Mi Hellboy. Tuesday, Missing Link. Wednesday, Wonder Park. Thursday, Dumbo. Friday, Arctic. And then, the week after that, Pokemon Detective Pikachu comes out. And I'm going to be checking that out. No questions about us uh, about that. I'm definitely going to be checking that out. And the other movies coming up I, later I can talk about. So yeah, well, hope you guys enjoyed my review for End Avengers, Endgame guy, Avengers Endgame, guys. Tell me what you thought of the film in the comments below. Don't spoil, try not to spoil. I really tried my hardest not to spoil this movie. I hope I didn't spoil this movie to you guys. But anyway... That's what I have to say for this movie, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Go check the movie out for yourself, for yourself, guys. It's amazing. I don't know if I'm going to check it out again in the theater, but when I buy it on Blu-ray, it'll be rewatched countless times. But then again, it's a long film, and I was prepared for it, and I loved it. So that's it. This is Akil, and I'm signing out.